we have got another event at Victory Pocket. Our last event was at Tamworth, which obviously we took everyone along on the vlog, um, and that was really awesome. Since going cross country the other day on jet, I feel pretty confident about this weekend. I'm uh, just gonna do, do our thing in the dressage. Yeah, not gonna aim for any particular mark. I guess the best I ever go is probably my lessons. I mean, I have a super, super coach, Tracy. Um, and this is something I'm working really hard on. And it's been a process over the years that in the dressage phase, I lose concentration. It's sort of really based on my anxiety to do with trying to place or trying to not have a really crap mark and be at the bottom of the leaderboard. But actually in doing that, I sort of concentrate on the negatives and in the past I have got so tense and nervous. Well actually I didn't feel nervous, but so tense, I think anxious about the result, not about the actual um, dressage test itself, if that makes sense. But I've got so anxious about not stuffing it up that I've actually gone in and stuffed it up. I think my main goal for the dressage is to concentrate the entire test. Do not let my mind wander, especially in the warm-up. Looking at other riders and going, oh look, there's, you know, there's all the riders that always come at the top. Oh look, there's such and such. Look how good she is. Concentrate! Ah. We'll see if I can if I carry this out. I'd be really interested to hear what other people worry about at competitions or how you um, how you control your thoughts in the dressage. Like, do you have any tips that might help me to stay focused, not get distracted by other riders, not get kind of distracted or not, not put as much pressure in the arena on how I'm gonna go. Please comment. So Hallie's been, she dropped off some remnants KFC. The dogs have enjoyed the mash and gravy. Thanks Hallie. Thanks. Two months overdue. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh no. That probably so naughty. Look. Oh. <laughs> That's the escapee, Woody. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you later.
guys, so it's Saturday morning, 6.30. Um, we're going to start planning. Um, the other girls probably turn up in about half an hour. Phoebe should be here, but she's a bit late because she's got a friend with her. So she'll be here, I think, shortly. And they'll feed most of the horses up because it was a bit warmer last night, so that's good. So this is Daddy before. Hopefully soon he'll be fully planted. Oh, we're on. Hello. Got Hallie and Enya, and guys, you have to lean forward. We can't see you. Got Phoebe in the back, and Phoebe's friend Lane. She's just on my ear. She's not there. So we're on our way to Fig Tree Pocket. We should be there soon. I'm actually hoping to be on my horse in half an hour. We will be there in 10 minutes, so I'll be quick. So what is exciting about this comp for you? First ever Benzie comp. Oh my lord! So Enya is riding, who are you riding? Chevy? Yeah. And what, what is he? Is he Hallie's horse? Yeah. So what's he done? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. So is he evented? Yeah. Yeah, so Chevy evented and what height are you doing this weekend? 80. Whoa! So um, Enya's doing 80 because she's better than Hallie, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Hallie's doing 60 again because she's a big pansy. I did nominate for 80. Yeah, but then you wimped out. And then I changed it. She wimped fun. out. I was so proud of her for entering 80. I, I had no choice at that point. <laughs> yeah, well. Enya and myself are quickly heading out cross country to watch Hallie's dressage. So um, she should be on about eight minutes. So we're trying to catch it and we'll try and get a bit of video. Um, Daddy did a really super test, so really happy. Um, we didn't stuff any bits up, but he did get a little bit uptight and a bit strong. So unfortunately his lengthenings and things weren't quite as good as they should have been, but um, really happy with him and got about 65 percent so we're gonna see um where it came there's a few more scores to go up and then we'll um see where we're sitting but anyway i couldn't be happy with it. Enya, please tell me how you did 
in your first day of your first event. Good. Good. So how did you dress out to go? Good. I'm now sitting six. Whoa. Out of how many? Out of how many? No. <laughs> 30. It's 30 something. And do you know what score you got? 69 something. Woo! End of day one. So, and you did the best. Yeah, she's. I was gonna say she's winning. She's winning out of our team. Up off the floor? Yes. So we're just leaving Fig Tree Pocket, and I'm gonna do this recap now because I think soon it's gonna be pitch black in the cab. Hallie, do you wanna update us on how yours went? Very crappily. You need to come this way a bit. Very yeah. crappily. She warmed up pretty nice and then the wind picked up as we went in and uh, we, she was tense and wobbly and tried to knock down the arena. Oh yeah, she got it she got in a tanty and <laughs> as she turned down the centre line kicked out the boards or the poles or whatever they were, they're pretty light. So Jack did his dressage and I think I spoke about this earlier, it was okay. As time's gone on, I'm even, I'm more and more and more disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, I'll try and forget that. So we just show jumped and I wasn't feeling too bad about show jumping. We warmed up okay. Um, and then we went in and... I thought, yeah, yeah, this is gonna go well. We went over to the judge and then Jet decided it was like, it was terrifying that there were all these dressage boards on the edge of the arena. And then he jumped number one and then I turned to do number two and he just drifted off into the abyss. Oh, thanks for the stuff with your lungs. And I very nearly missed the entire jump, but managed to kind of just pull him over to it and jumped it. From about one inch away on an angle so we kind of had to take it out which was a shame and then the rest of it felt really hairy but apparently it didn't look quite as hairy i'm not sure about that cross country looks great it's the same as last fig tree so i didn't go around sort of taking you know photos of them all <laughs> stop to macros just went far but when this isn't even dinner, is it Phoebe? Phoebe's being anorexic. Anorexia is a real problem, guys, but just saying. Um, she's having small fries, but it's not a laughing matter. If you do have an eating disorder, probably, probably shouldn't go into this, but go on Beyond Blue, etc., etc. Oh, look. Oh, wait, can we look at a camera on a different camera? There's no call there, that's just Mally waiting. Oh, there's a, ba there's a mama waiting for a baby. But Hallie's man had a fully wooly. Okay, so we're gonna. It's a Cremello Colt. And anyway, we'll put in some photos. Yeah. So you're not going home to see it? No. Oh my god! I don't get to see it until tomorrow. She doesn't get to see her new phone. Maybe she'll have two. Anyway. I want to see Oh my god, Anya, look how much you've got. Ready? She does not have her needing to see it. But anyway, I'm not making jokes about eating disorders because it is a real thing. I don't want to go into it, but I also don't want to make fun of it. Sorry. Good morning. So it's Sunday and it's about 10 to 6. Um, it's nice being this light. It feels like it's, you know, sudden, finally sort of turning, you know, like actually spring, sort of going summer. Anyway, it rained really heavy for about two minutes last night. So everything's a little bit boggy. Um... We are all shattered this morning. Um, so I'm about to get Jet, give him his gastropel, his ulcer stuff. Uh, Phoebe's quickly making feeds and the other girl's mucking out. And, um, and then we better get on the road because we've got an early morning. Um, yeah, might catch up in the truck. <laughs>
cross country and we were first out and she was amazing. Um, the third over 65 centimetres and she went clear and we came in 10 seconds early which puts us in a 20 second window and we were perfect. that on film oh. yeah you definitely you have to wash off all the sweat yeah. and the butt she was a superstar hey so we finished cross country i completely missed my time i was meant to be there at 9 16 or something and i well i turned up but they were running early but all the 70s were in the ring and i was 66 and yeah so we got a very quick warm-up jenny flew out and i thought we were going super fast but minute marker one I was down on time and then we were legging it the whole way but he was so good and we came in uh, 10 seconds over we're just under 10 seconds over so we got 4.8 time penalties but he was so good and for the first time he felt like a proper cross country horse so he was actually like as soon as he would clock onto the fence and he was really bold and, yeah. so he was really good and I think he's ready for um, badminton <laughs> okay. I love you. So we are sitting at the show jumping, watching, trying to save lives. Save, I don't know, save something. Look how, look, my little man is here. Johnny. Johnny, say hi. Mm -mm. I'm so pleased that my lovely boyfriend John came to watch. And he came, and it's still, it's 12 20, and he's still here. That must be love. But yeah, look, here he is. Oh, John, it's embarrassing. What an idiot. Mm. Anyway, Phoebe's still here, loving life. I'm not sure she's loving it. Are you loving the event, Phoebe? Yeah. Are you actually? Mm -hmm. You just want to go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe was asleep the whole way here. I don't know what she's talking about. And it was very hard to wake up. <laughs> she said, leave. 
Jetty is done and he's all clay up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He wants his dinner. And the other guys are organized themselves. And they're gonna go in a minute. But really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like. Please make sure you have subscribed because not very many of you have. Please comment. I don't know, some people said it was playing up. If it's not playing up, make sure you scroll past the videos, down to the bottom, leave a comment, please. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.